Let's learn how to subtract using the counting backwards method in a number line. Number lines? A number line is a straight line with numbers placed at equal intervals along its length. Number line is a math tool that helps us count, add and subtract numbers. Can you tell me what 7 minus 3 is using a number line? Let's start by locating the bigger number on the number line. Which is the bigger number? 7. 7. There you go. To take 3 away from 7, we make 3 jumps to the left. So it is 6, 5, 4. So we landed on 4. So when we take 3 away from 7, we get 4. This is called counting backwards method. Counting backwards. In the counting backward method, you keep the bigger number in mind and you count backward by the number you are taken away, starting just before the larger number. You keep 7 in your mind and since you are taking 3 away from 7, you count backwards 3 times, starting before 7, which is 6, 5, 4. Okay, now let's find out what 8 minus 4 is using the counting backwards method in a number line. Which is the bigger number, 8 or 4? 8. Yes, 8. So keeping 8 in mind, you make 4 jumps backwards to the left. So starting before 8, we jump to 7, 6, 5 and 4. We have landed on 4. So the answer is 4. 8 minus 4 equals 4. Let's do subtraction using the counting backwards method using our fingers and find out what is 5 minus 3. Okay, in 5 and 3, 5 is the bigger number and 3 is the smaller number. In the counting backwards method using our fingers, we hold up fingers for the smaller number to help us keep track. So, how many fingers do we hold up? Three. Three. You are correct. Now, keeping five in your mind, we start counting backwards starting before five. We go three steps backwards. So, it is four, three and finally two. So, five minus three equals two. Isn't this so easy? Can you tell me what 11 minus 4 is? In 11 and 4, 11 is the bigger number and 4 is the smaller number. In the counting backwards method using our fingers, we hold up fingers for the smaller number to help us keep track. So we hold up 4 fingers and count backwards starting before 11. We go 4 steps backwards. So before 11, 10, 9, 8 and 7. You are correct. So, 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay, let's do subtraction using the counting backwards method using objects. Let's find out what is 6 minus 4. In 6 and 4, what is the bigger number? 6. 6. We have 6 balloons here. Now, we are going to take 4 away by popping them one by one. We will count backwards as we pop each balloon. Ready? We start with 6. Now, let's remove the first balloon. Now, we have 5. We take away another balloon. Now, we have 4. Let's pop one more. That's 3. And finally, we pop the fourth balloon. Now, we are left with 2 balloons. So, when we start with 6 balloons and take away 4, we are left with 2 balloons. That's how subtraction works when we count backwards. Next, what is 4 minus 3? So, which number do we start with? 4. 4. That's right. Let's imagine we have 4 ice cubes. Let's figure out how many are left if 3 ice cubes melt away. We are going to count backwards as the ice cubes disappear. Ready? We start with 4 ice cubes. 1 ice cube melts. Now we have 3. Another one melts. 2. Now we are down to 2. 
the third ice cube melts. One. And now we are left with one ice cube. So when we start with four ice cubes and three melt away, we are left with just one ice cube. That's how subtraction works when we count backwards. Interesting. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.